Are you ready to tackle your financial goals, but every time you do, you get that feeling of being discouraged or frustrated because you can't make any headway, especially if you're doing it by yourself. I have news for you. There are six easy ideas that you can implement really quickly that will help you feel confident and motivated to continue the path to your financial goals. Stick around in this video. Hey, what's up guys? It's Justine with Debt Free Millennials, the channel to help you crush your debt and live payment free, and best of all, doing it confidently. We need quick and snappy ideas to help us on our financial journey, which is why today's video is sponsored by The Daily Upside, a free investing and business newsletter that is delivered straight to your inbox every morning, but more on that later. All right, let's get into these six easy ideas that you can do so that you don't feel discouraged. Number one is to find an accountability partner. Now, if you are doing this on your own, meaning you don't have a significant other, a partner, a spouse that you are working on your financial goals with, this is so important to have an accountability partner to help you stay on that path with your goal. So you can actually do this through my budget bootcamp program where we work one-on-one -on -one together to help you with your financial goals, whether that's paying off debt, building up an emergency fund, maybe doing a little bit of everything, we can do that and I can be your accountability partner or maybe you just buddy up with a friend who understands that you need some financial accountability or maybe you find somebody inside of the Debt Free Millennials Facebook group. I will link to that below in the description box for you to check out that or Budget Bootcamp. Having somebody to talk to throughout your journey is going to help you just stay on that path. So number one, find an accountability partner. Number two, this is something that I've personally done, is to track your progress through using a debt-free chart or, this is a new idea, a post-it challenge. So the post-it challenge is where you put a number of post-its either on your bathroom mirror, maybe on your refrigerator door, and each post-it represents a dollar amount. Every time you go to make a debt payment, you can remove one of those post-it notes that represents that dollar amount. So maybe each post-it represents $100. So if you make a $400 debt payment, you can remove four of those post-it notes, which feels awesome because you're visually seeing the progress. You're making that traction. By the way, if you want to use a debt-free chart, there are plenty of those available inside of my How to Control Your Spending Workbook, which is for sale using the link in the description box below. Number three is to improve your personal finance knowledge, which is why I assume you're watching this video and hopefully you are subscribed to the channel. But one thing that I really like to do in terms of constantly improving my knowledge around personal finance is to start off my mornings just right. Now, let me tell you exactly how I do that. When I start my morning, I usually grab a cup of coffee and want to get a quick pulse on the news, but oftentimes media outlets can be biased and unreliable. How can I learn more about investing, business, and growing wealth? Well, my friend, that's where The Daily Upside can help you out. The Daily Upside is a free daily newsletter written by a team of former investment bankers, scholars, and journalists with the goal of empowering individual investors just like us to understand the companies and trends shaping the business world. It skips over the headache-inducing financial jargon traditional media uses. Instead, The Daily Upside gives clear, concise, and non-biased business news you can read in just five minutes. Just the other day, I learned that Topeka, Kansas, which is just a short drive from my hometown, is offering $10,000 for remote workers to live there. Pretty cool. If you want to improve your personal finance knowledge and your overall business know-how, sign up for the completely free newsletter with a daily upside using the link in the description box below. Now back to you, Justine. Thank you, Justine. I really love using the Daily Upside for a way to, that I can quickly improve my personal finance knowledge without feeling like I need to read another 300-page book. 
very simple to do. Number four is to start with smaller goals. Oftentimes I think when we have these goals where we're thinking of, oh, I need to sell my car or I need to pay off this credit card debt, it can be a little daunting. So it's a good idea to pare down that bigger goal into smaller goals so that it feels like you're making headway. So let's say that you are looking to perhaps get rid of your car loan. The first thing that you could do is to research trading in your vehicle. Maybe you take an hour to research how much that car is worth. Maybe you research extra side hustle income opportunities to help you pay off that car loan if you choose to keep the car. Start with smaller goals like that so that you have an hour dedicated to these smaller tasks that lead into the bigger financial goal of paying off your car. Number five, now I really like using this as a way to not feel discouraged or hopeless is to do your budget. It's a very simple activity that can help you keep things organized. So I like to do this through my Google spreadsheet, which is the budget toolkit, which is for free. You guys can use this using the link in the description box to sign up for this and create your budget in a monthly view. We are going to look at your monthly income, monthly expenses, pair that up and see how we can move things around inside of your budget to achieve your financial goal. If the goal is to build up an emergency fund, then we can take a look at some of the things inside of your budget. Maybe there's some wiggle room to pull $50 out of your restaurant budget and put it towards the emergency fund. Or this time you are going to forego your shopping excursion and put it towards your savings. There are little things that you can do within your budget as long as you're able to actually physically see everything in one view, which is why I like using a budget and it helps me not feel so discouraged. Lastly, number six, this is so important, is you need to factor in some fun money. Yes, I know there are people out there like Dave Ramsey who do the scorched earth approach and say you have to dedicate everything towards that debt payment. But here's the thing, you also have to live your life. So you can do this on a dime. Maybe instead of going out that night where you're spending perhaps a hundred bucks on cocktails and bar food, maybe you stick to doing happy hours only. Maybe you opt for cheaper restaurants like Chipotle and Panera instead of the latest Italian bistro that's down the street. You can also do game nights at home with your friends and make cocktails. I think these are really smart ideas to start incorporating into your monthly routine so that you can still have fun and you, you're still giving yourself permission to spend on those things, but you're not going overboard and it's not deterring you from the real goal. Okay, so those are six easy ideas that you can implement to help you feel less discouraged and more confident with your financial goals. Let me know in the comments below, how do you keep yourself from feeling discouraged with your financial goals? Do you have any tips that you can share with the rest of us? Comment below, give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to check out the Daily Upside, which is a great way to start introducing personal finance knowledge and business know-how very quickly in your inbox with just a five minute read. I will link to the daily upside for you to sign up in the description box below and I'll catch you in the next one.